안녕하세요. 텍스나의 핵심 말고 좋은 토크할때 세미나 고성 PD입니다. 이번 세미나에서는 데이터 사이언티스트나 데이터 분석가들 사이에서 인기 있는 데이터 시각화 웹 애플리케이션을 작성해주는 파이썬 라이브러리 스트림리스에 대해서 알아보겠습니다. 얼마 전 스트림리스의 공동 창업자이자 현재 스노플레크의 제품 경험 총괄인 아만다 켈리가 한국을 방문했을 때 저희 토크할때 웨비나에 출연했습니다. 이때 아만다 켈리가 데이터를 다루는 전문가 관점에서 항상 갖고 있는 고민들을 해소하려고 스트리밍스를 만들었다고 하는데 여러분도 들어보시면 바로 공감이 가실 것입니다. 한번 들어볼까요? Data scientists, machine learning engineers, they, they love Python. They know how to do things in Python. What if we could make it so easy? All of this great stuff that we know. Tiago is a really great designer and front-end engineer. What if we did that, but it was all in Python? And so that was the idea for Streamlit. Could we make something where you could just write one line of code? Right? I just need to see a bar graph. Right? I just need to see an image. Right? I, I just need to have a button here and have it all done in Python and work as a script so it would work naturally right, with the models that you were making and these other things, analysis that you were doing. Usually what happens in a company is, you know, and, and you've worked as a, as a data scientist, yeah. you know, someone like me might come to you and say, Sue, why did this thing go this way or what's going on with this? Um, and your process might be, I got to get the data, I put it in a notebook, I'm trying to visualize it, I'm trying to figure it out, maybe I'm making some slides, right? Now I want to make it an interactive analysis, now I've asked another team to maybe make an app for me, right? That, that whole process, they got to stand it up, they got to secure it. Like, I've seen these things take months, right? We constantly talk to companies who use Streamlit now and they're like, it took us six months to make this thing, we recreated it in six hours. You know where the data is, but still, we use it for so few things. Because of that process, it's hard. It's hard for us to go and say, oh, I need to figure out where the data is. I need to put it in analysis. I need to put it in an app. And so we stop asking questions of the data. But if we can make it fast, if we can power our engineers, right, our data scientists just to you know, have that idea and put it on paper, right, we think that's incredibly powerful. And that's still the thing that drives us at Streamlit. And that's what we, we did. What, that's what took off kind of in the community. I think Streamlit's now the sixth fastest growing Python library. Mm, right. Which is pretty impressive. 웨비나 때 제가 미처 물어보지 못했던 궁금증이 있었는데 다시 아만다 캐리를 한국에 초대할 수도 없고 그래서 채취 PT와 제 궁금증에 대해서 한번 얘기를 나눠보았습니다. 아 채취 PT, 그 내가 궁금한 게 데이터 시각화를 해주는 거는 BI라고 옛날부터 있었던 것이 있는데 이 BI하고 그 스트리밍사하고 어떤 차이점이 있는 거지? 가장 큰 차이점이라면 BI 도구들은 주로 게시보드 형식으로 고정된 형태의 리포트를 만들어주는 반면에 스트림릿은 파이썬을 활용해서 훨씬 더 인터랙티브하고 커스터마이즈 가능한 웹 앱 형태로 데이터를 시각화할 수 있다는 점이에요. 그래서 좀더 유연하고 뭐 데이터 과학자나 개발자들이 직접 코드를 짜면서 자기 입맛대로 결과물을 만들 수 있는 게 특징이죠. 데이터 과학자나 데이터 분석가들, 파이썬 아는 사람들한테는 스트리밋이 훨씬 더 바로바로 어, 바로 뭔가 해볼 수 있는 거가 되겠네, 제약도 없이. 맞아요. 정확해요. 파이썬을 아는 사람들한테는 스트림릿이 정말 자유롭고 빠르게 원하는 시각화를 만들어낼 수 있는 도구예요. 그래서 좀더 실험적이고 어, 다양한 방식으로 데이터를 다루고 싶을 때 스트림릿이 큰 장점이 되죠. 예전에 그 한창 처음에 데이터 사이언티스트라는 용어가 나왔을 때 R이라는 프로그램이 굉장히 인기가 있었거든. 지금도 마찬가지지만 R도 다양한 라이브러리가 있다고 하는데 R하고 스트림릿은 어떤 차이점이 있는 거지? R은 데이터 분석과 컨계 작업에 특화된 언어로 오래전부터 다양한 패키지와 라이브러리를 통해 데이터 사이언티스트들에게 사랑받아 왔죠. 어, 스트림릿은 파이썬 기반이라서 파이썬을 주로 쓰는 개발자나 데이터 과학자들에게 더 친숙한 도구라고 볼수 있어요. 그래서 두 언어와 도구는 각자 장단점이 있고 결국 어떤 언어나 도구를 더 선호하느냐에 따라 선택하게 되는 것 같아요. 스트림릿이 갖고 있는 장점이 뭔데? 스트림릿의 가장 큰 장점은 파이썬 기반이라서 파이썬 생태계에 있는 다양한 라이브러리와 쉽게 연동할 수 있다는 점이에요. 그리고 코드 몇 줄로도 손쉽게 인터랙티브한 웹 앱을 만들 수 있어서 개발 과정이 훨씬 간편하고 빠르다는 것도 큰 장점이죠. 그래서 파이썬에 익숙한 분들에게는 스트림릿이 훨씬 더 직관적이고 빠르게 결과물을 낼수 있는 도구로 느껴질 거예요. 스트림릿이 만들어졌을 때 시장에서는 데이터 시각화 웹 앱을 만들어주는 것이 여러 개가 있었을 것 같습니다. 그런데 왜 스트림릿이 이 분야의 리더가 된 것일까요? 코로나와 생성형 AI가 큰 도약점이 되었다고 하는데 
새삼 기술 벤처에게 타이밍이 참 중요하다는 것을 다시 한번 느끼게 해줍니다. One of the first things that we realized we would have to build was an easy way for people to share these apps. We made it very easy to build them locally, right? But the next thing you want to do is, is put it in the hands of someone else, right? And that's a completely different skill set. And so we said, well, to continue this growth, we have to give people a free, easy way to deploy these. So we built um, uh, what's, what's now our community cloud product. And, and that launched um, about four months before COVID hit, mm -hmm. right? So it launched, it started growing, but then all of a sudden COVID hits. Everybody's, at, and we start seeing all of these apps go viral, right? Overloading our survey services because everyone's at home. No one knows what's going on, right? The, the first apps are about what's going on in Italy, right? You know, and then it's trying to grab data, like everybody's sharing data out there. And we thought this is so powerful, right? So much of what's powerful in, in data is being able to share it with each other and have these open conversations. And there were so many universities and researchers at the time who used Streamlit actually as part of COVID to help. Um, and then the last kind of other really big moment, right, it was after we came to Snowflake, but this is before anyone knows, right, that LLMs, right, are right around the corner. Uh, and then all of a sudden, right, you know, that starts hitting the, the first models, you know, get out there with ChatGPT. And again, we start seeing yeah. these apps go crazy, right, because again, it was the students, it was a lot of the researchers who figured out first some of the power of this. Um, and because we've built Streamlit to, to work so easily with models and everything, some of the very first applications, right, that were coming out of LLMs were built in Streamlit apps, right? It's still a core part of OpenAI stack, right, and, and so many others because similar to that same value proposition back in the day, researchers are on the forefront. They need tools that just work in the languages, yeah. right, that they use, and that's why so much of LLM development and first applications actually is still built in Streamlit, and that's incredibly exciting. 스트리밋의 공동 창업자인 아만다 켈리는 현재 스노플레이크의 제품 경험 총괄로 일하고 있는데 왜 2022년도에 AI 데이터 클라우드 사업자인 스노플레이크와 회사를 합쳤을까요? So from your perspective, what makes Streamlit and Snowflake such a powerful combination and why do you think this integration is so particularly valuable for developers and data teams? It's just we watch users and we say what's we do it ourselves. We say what's the most frustrating step and can we take something that's a pain point and make it more of a magic moment. Mm -hmm. uh, and so much of what's really painful about developing is really just getting the data into a workable space, like having your environment set up. Every time I haven't coded for a while, I have to go back and I'm like, ah, oh, I'm on the wrong version of something. I got to yeah. download it. I've been to so many hackathons where people said, Man, the streamlit part was so fun, but I only did it in like the last couple hours because I spent 90% of the time realizing that I had the wrong data set, right? That I had to clean it in a certain way, that I was running on the wrong version, right? All of this, again, gets in the way of, you know, how can I just go from, I need to know this question or CEO asked yes. us, right? You know, to churning it out there. And so that's a lot of what we focus on on the Snowflake side, mm -hmm. right? It's not just the, the streamlit pit and how can we make that great, but how do we make it so you can find that data easily, right? It's in there. You don't have to struggle with your environment. And that was the thing that we were most excited about, I think, when we joined Snowflake is just by putting Streamlit directly on top of that. Mm -hmm. So as you kind of saw in the demo, we can just say from this data set, yeah. right, can you do it? It's already observing, right, all of the permissions, the mm -hmm. controls, right? I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to pay any costs mm -hmm. from taking the data out, right. right? You know, we talk with a lot of advanced research companies who are like, the amount of time and money we just spend taking the data, moving it here to work with it locally, moving it back, right? These are, you know, hours, you know, when you add it all up, days, years wasted, That's right, across the team. That's also resource and money. Exactly, it is resources and money. Uh, and lack of joy. That's the thing that I, I really focus <laughs> on. And so that to me is, is the magic that we've been working for, is not having to struggle with your environment, right? Not having to, you know, do any of that kind of, you know, data traffic and management, knowing that it's secure and scalable, right? Just allows you to focus on that business problem, yeah. focus on that code. Um, and I think when it's done well, it, it really is magical that you can just get that all done and shared and you didn't have to think about any of the annoying bits. Mm. 요즘 같은 바이브 코딩 시대, 현재 스트리밋은 어떤 분야에 집중하고 있을까요? 코딩 결과의 정확성과 보다 더 직관적인 인간 개발자의 사용을 개선시키려고 한다는 방향성에 개인적으로 공감이 갔었습니다. It's a key focus of what we're, we're talking about. Obviously, I, I showed you some of Copilot, but also how we're evolving in the library to have chat, to do other things, to make it easy. Yeah. Really, at the end of the day, I mean, I learn the most just watching our users. And we just say, what are you doing? What's interesting? And then how can we make that scalable, mm -hmm. right? How we can bring it. That's how we first saw people hacking together, right? The chat bots, right? And wanting to put that in. 
a lot of what we've been talking about internally right now is how do we make sure that all the new generations of LLM tools will work seamlessly mm -hmm. with Streamlit? How does that change our open source release process? How does it change, right, how we give examples and things like that so that when you go to any tool in Snowflake or outside and you say, can you write this, it's going to write you perfect Streamlit code. Um, obviously, all of this new configurability that we're doing too, there are things that we're thinking about there. There's certain things that are better to do in more of a chat interface, but there's also so much more potential, right, for literally just drawing, right, something on the screen for you, um, for, for seeing that, for being able to point and click and say, I'd rather have dragged this over there. I'd rather this, you know, be blue, not red. Um, and ultimately, at the end of the day, you know, e even though Streamlit is a, is a Python API, going back to that value proposition, we just want to make it fast, right, mm -hmm. for you to get to that insight. And I think the key thing for a lot of AI and LLMs right now is just how do you get to that trusted insight? Right? How do you feel okay, again, about deploying this to that first person, and then the hundredth, and then you know, the 10,000th person to do that? And so making sure right, that it works with LLMs, that we have all of the things, whether it's theming right, or chat or whatever, and that those work right, for LLMs yeah. to do that, but also that we maintain that, that clean readability, right? that it's easy to kind of talk to understand right, what's happening in your app, right? to be able to look at that data. I think that's really, really important right now. You can say, no, no, no. Don't send that chart to the CEO. That's not telling right, the right story. We used the wrong data set. It's slicing the data in the right way. We need to go a couple layers deeper. Eventually, I think LLMs are going to be able to help us do that analysis as well. But there's still, we still really need people in the step to help translate. Yeah. Right? What are we doing? Is this the right thing? How do we make that call? And that's where apps can still be really, really powerful mm -hmm. in understanding the data together. And so if we can make it faster, with LLMs to do that. If we can make it so that you can use LLMs and agents in your apps, right? So you can do fancy things. And you saw some of that earlier mm -hmm. um, when we were showing how we used agents, right, in an app to do these things. But you're making it easy for people to access it, mm -hmm. right, with the right controls and security and everything. Then that, at the end of the day, is a winning formula for really helping businesses accelerate. Mm -hmm. Streamlit 관련 자세한 기술 문서 위키는 우측 상단에 있는 카드 링크를 클릭하시면 보실 수 있고 관련 문의는 여기 메일로. 하실 수 있습니다. 지금 보신 이 세미나 영상은 제가 진행하는 토크아이트의 토크형 웨비나 내용 일부를 재구성해서 스토리텔링한 영상입니다. 여러분 회사의 솔루션이나 신규술에 대한 자연스러운 토크형 웨비나를 진행하면서 지금 보신 세미나 같은 영상을 제작하는 것에 관심 있으신 분은 우측 상단에 카드 링크를 클릭하시면 관련 서비스 내용을 보실 수 있고 여기 전화나 메일로 문의 주시면 친절하게 상담해 드리겠습니다. 테크 전문 채널 토크아이트에서는 데이터 저장, 분석, 보호 관련 다양한 전문가들과 언제든지 상담하고 소통할 수 있는 구해조 데이터란 공간이 있습니다. 구글에서 한글로 토크아이트 치시거나 우측 상단에 링크를 클릭하시면 됩니다. 여러분의 좋아요와 구독은 컨텐츠 제작에 큰 힘이 됩니다.